Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Tommy Angelini, a professor in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. I also hold affiliate appointments in the Departments of Material Science and Engineering and Biomedical Engineering. I came to UF in 2010 to start my career as faculty after doing a postdoc at Harvard University. My PhD is in physics, but throughout my career, my mentors, teachers, and collaborators have included mechanical engineers, material scientists, biomedical engineers, chemical engineers, chemists, biologists, medical doctors, and physicists. I draw from this broad experience and training to mentor my students, who leave our lab with an extremely rich toolbox of skills and knowledge. In our lab, we don't focus on a particular set of problems or confine ourselves to a narrow field. We have a philosophy of following our curiosity in new directions, wherever it takes us. But most of our work is in the general areas of soft matter and biological materials, including living cells. Over the years, my students have made groundbreaking discoveries about the fundamental mechanical behaviors of living cells, like how fluctuations in cell volume couple to large-scale patterns of motion in living tissue models, or how immune cells migrate in 3D through porous media to attack diseased tissue like cancer or how basic mechanical instabilities can be predicted and controlled in 3D bioprinted cell populations. This work required us to develop new materials and methods for 3D bioprinting. As of January 2024, we have submitted nearly 40 different invention disclosures leading to more than 100 patent applications worldwide. Because we need to be inventive to do the research we want to do in my lab, we build our own instruments like 3D printers, we synthesize our own polymers, gels, and particles, and we get a lot of help from our colleagues from around the university across many disciplines. The variety of research topics we pursue requires expertise in many different tools and methods. Most notably microscopy, photography, x-ray scattering, light scattering, rheology, tensile testing, and contact mechanics. Often we combine these methods to perform multimodal measurements. Now, incoming students don't need to have a background in any of what I just described. It's my mission to train them in all these areas. What I'm always looking for in a student, however, are the qualities they'll need to thrive in an environment like my lab. The ideal candidate for my lab is naturally observant, highly resourceful and creative, hardworking, and intellectually honest. These qualities can be found in people from all communities and backgrounds. If you're this kind of person and you'd like to learn more, visit the MAE website.